Namaste viewers, welcome to BRICS TV Bharat. Today we explore the comparative growths of BRIC currencies in cross-border trade. We will analyze how these emerging economies are advancing the use of their local currencies on global stage, the challenges they face and the potential impact on international trade and finance. Stay with us for insightful discussions and expert analysis. I am your Professor Dr. Evi Srinivasan. Comparative growth of BRIC currencies in cross-border trade Compared to the renminbi's significant global adoption in recent years, the increase in cross-border payments made in the local currencies of other BRIC members and invities has been relatively modest. For instance, SWIFT data shows that the RAND share of cross-border payments declined slightly from 0.33% to 0.28% between September 2021 and September 2023, despite South Africa's global GDP share being around 0.6%. Similarly, although the dirham and Saudi real have seen some growth in their share of swift cross-border trade finance payments since January 2022, their overall levels remain low, especially when compared to the UAE and Saudi Arabia's respective shares of global GDP. Overall, the growth of these currencies in cross-border trade, finance payments has lagged behind the renminbi both in absolute and relative terms. Data for cross-border rupee payments is not included in Table 3 as shown in the figure, but in 2022, the rupee accounted for only 1.6% of foreign exchange transactions despite India's GDP share being 7.5%. The renminbi by contrast had a significantly larger share of transactions. SWIFT data no longer tracks ruble payments but before major Russian banks were cut off in January 2022, the ruble share was 0.26% between January 2022 and May 2023. Russian exports invoiced in rubles rose from 10% to over 40% through import invoicing in rubles declined as renminbi use increased. Renminbi may further replace the ruble in Russia's trade with over 5% of Russia's imports from third countries invoiced in renminbi by the end of 2022. Despite efforts to increase ruble usage, including the Russian central bank's new exchange rates for the dirham and Egyptian pound, significantly international ruble use is unlikely due to sanctions and volatility. The dollar peg nature of the real and dirham limits their role in de-dollarization. However, the dirham has become prominent in India-Russia trade and the BRICS project aims to make dirham more attractive for payments by reducing settlement risk. In September 2023, the UAE Central Bank signed a bilateral swap agreement with Egypt's Central Bank to help address Egypt's dollar shortages using the dirham. Now, India's strategic push for greater rupee utilization in global trade. In 2023, India's Central Bank published a report advocating increased use of rupee in cross-border trade and finance. The report highlighted the potential role of bilateral central bank currency swap arrangements using the PBOC's approach as a blueprint for reducing dependence on the US dollar without full capital account convertibility. It also endorsed local currency settlement agreements which India central bank is already implementing. In July 2023, the Central Bank of India and the UAE signed memoranda to promote rupee and dirham use in cross-border transactions. Indian firms have been encouraged to use these currencies in transactions with emirati firms. 
Notably, Indian state oil company purchased 1 billion barrels of oil in rupees from the immunity supplier in August 2023. Additionally, India began negotiations with Saudi Arabia to enhance local currency settlement in bilateral trade and seek similar arrangements with Argentina, Brazil and South Africa. The expansion of rupee usage is supported by the increasing number of foreign commercial banks that are allowed to hold rupee accounts with Indian banks. By August 2023, banks from over 20 countries had been approved up from just three in late 2022. 34 Russian banks opened such accounts across 14 Indian institutions. However, rupee volatility remains a challenge with Indian refiners preferring other currencies like dirham for trade with Russian energy firms. Concerns over rupee convertibility contributed to the breakdown of India-Russia negotiation for greater rupee use in mid-2023. <clears throat> the rupee could also facilitate India's growing imports from Iran, which increased by 60% between 2021 and 2022, and another 5% in the first half of 2023. Iranian officials have raised the issue of increasing local currency usage in trade with India. In May 2023, a meeting in Tehran involving central bank officials from India, Iran, Russia and South Asian countries led to an agreement on using the rupee for local currency settlement via the Asian Clearing Union. An Indian government official stated that this transaction to rupee usage would mitigate the impact of recent US actions aimed at curbing India's bank involvement in ACU facilitated transactions with Iranian entities. Now, what is the conclusion? The August 2023 BRICS summit highlighted that efforts to increase local currency use are not confined to China. India's central bank is actively promoting the rupee in cross border trade and finance, while the UAE's central bank is advancing the use of dirham. Despite these initiatives, significant barriers remain to the broader adoption of BRIC currencies, particularly among third countries. The rupee's convertibility and volatility issues hinder its use in trade with Russia. Brazil and South Africa face similar challenges due to currency volatility and the relatively small size of their economies and financial systems. Additionally, the US and European sanctions limit the ruble's attractiveness. Exchanging BRIC currencies with other emerging market currencies is often more costly than the dollar. And these are the settlement risks due to inadequate financial infrastructure for new BRICS invitees, economic sanctions, potential currency crisis, and dollar pegged currencies that pose further obstacles. Among BRIC currencies, the renminbi is most widely used with several 2023 policy efforts to expand its global use. However, its availability outside China remains limited compared to the dollar and the cross-border usage is constrained by China's economic conditions and renminbi convertibility restrictions. Geopolitical tensions could also limit renminbi adoption. Chinese authorities increase control over financial institutions and developing economic statecraft tools may deter countries from embracing the renminbi due to fears of asset freezes and payment channel disruptions. Concerns over renminbi payments in India-Russia trade reflect such apprehensions. The global uptake of BRIC currencies, particularly the renminbi, will also depend on US responses to non-dollar financial channels, which are increasingly used to facilitate transactions with sanctioned regimes. Strategic partners like India are involved in developing these channels, complicating US policy responses. Additionally, whether US policymakers will address severe dollar shortages in many emerging markets beyond actions through the IMF and multilateral development banks remains uncertain. 
As Washington considers its strategy, it is cruel to understand why economies outside China might find renminbi or eventually the rupee an attractive alternative to the dollar. Engaging with policy makers in emerging market to address these dynamics and articulating a clear response strategy will be vital in the coming months and years. So, viewers, thank you for joining us on BRICS TV Bharat. Today, we dwell into the comparative growth of BRIC currencies in cross-border trade, exploring the dynamics and challenges these emerging economies face as they seek to expand the use of their local currencies on global stage. As we continue to monitor these developments, it is clear that the strategic use of BRIC currencies has potential to reshape international trade and finance. So, stay tuned for more insightful discussions and comprehensive analysis on BRICS TV Bharat. Until next time, this is your Professor Dr. Avish Srinivasan signing off. Stay informed, stay empowered. Thank you.